Okay, this is British Summertime Hyde Park with Richard Herring. Hello, Richard. Hello, how are you doing? I'm very well. How are you? Yeah, delighted. It's lovely to be here. It's sunny. Yeah, I mean, it's nice weather, isn't it? Yeah. Is this is this specially put on for you, or is this? Do you expect this is this part of the rider? I bring this with me. Yeah. I want. I need to have the sunshine. I need uh, a British person to have just won Wimbledon, and then I'm happy to go on. Yeah. Those are my conditions. I actually think Paul Young was on stage just now, and I believe he did a cover of "Everywhere You Go, Always Take the Weather With You." So oh, it's. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> he obviously knew you were coming. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So, so we just watched Andy Murray uh, win Wimbledon. Yeah. It's a nice way to kick off your set. People are going to be in a good mood for laughing. Yeah, I hope so. Well, you know, they'd be insane if they come and watch comedy. It's beautifully sunny out here. <laughs> they can they can drink beer and, uh, you know, watch telly and watch uh, the Beach Boys. So, you know, if they want to come into a dark hole with me, then no, they'll, they'll be in a good mood. I'll be in a good mood. It should be fun. Excellent. Are you pleased that they've managed to recreate what a comedy club would be like <laughs> not in a festival? It seemed odd that we're in a field and they've built a pub and a club for us to go yeah. in. We could have had done something different, but usually we're in a tent, so it's kind of quite nice to have that yes. variety. It's diff- you know, it's got little stools and stuff in there. Nice bit of intimacy. Yeah, I feel like you know, I'm just coming out to do a gig. Excellent. So, I mean, you're doing the. Uh, are you doing a gig or are you doing MCing? I'm MCing, yeah. So. So, how do you find that at a festival? Because there's a lot of people kind of walk in and out as opposed to a gig, I imagine, where it's more static. Yeah, it can vary. It varies massively. So, you just have to be not too fussy. I've done ones where it's literally open to the whole festival and people just walk past, especially if you're like early in the morning. People are just walking past and kids are playing in the front. You know, you just got to basically go with the flow and see what happens, really, and then move it along if things are going badly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it varies. It's not. It's not. I don't do that much emceeing. I did a gig uh, in Bristol the other day where I did. You know, so it just depends on the gig, but it changes changes a lot so I'll, I'll just do some jokes see I'll see if I can chat with them mm. if they're not chatty I'll just do some jokes and then so, I'll get off <laughs> it's, it's a great <laughs> tactic uh, we've spoken to a lot of bands uh, yeah. many of whom have been wearing their kind of black t-shirt skinny black jeans not appropriate summer weather yeah. is is this your summer gear or is this your your gig attire I'm slightly dressed up for the gig I was wearing a t-shirt earlier so I thought I'd put on a proper shirt I regret it because I've just walked across the whole of the park <laughs> That uh, don't the, the back is a little sweaty, yeah. but as long as the front looks good, it's okay. Yeah, exactly. I, I know, you know, I kind of figured it might be a bit. By nine o'clock when we finish, it might be a little bit chillier. Yeah. I didn't want to bring a coat, but you know, a long sleeve shirt exactly. and take the sleeves. I can take it off if I want. I'll just take for purpose. I could as take long it. as you sort of sidle across the stage. I saw like some that. guys running in the in the park <laughs> earlier. They were quite. They were quite. Get the rug out. They were quite six packed up, but yeah. you know, I could. Well, there's a lot of young ladies around here, Richard. <laughs> I think you're obeying for that that kind we'll of see. exposure we'll see as the gig goes on we'll see yeah fantastic and uh, do you kind of uh, sort of manipulate your set uh, if anything towards a festival crowd is there any particular festival lines material that goes down well um i don't know really I, I with all my gigs i sort of change it a bit but i've got the same jokes really i've got the same basic jokes wherever i go I, I i'm hoping to do more messing around with the audience hopefully so if they're up for that then that's fine if they're not i'll just sort of do some knob gags probably <laughs> I mean, they don't call you Richard Herring one size fits all for nothing. <laughs> they don't. But mostly, you know, you don't vary that much. I won't probably go in to do my 15, 20 minute routine about yoghurt. I probably won't do that today. I'll probably go for shorter, kind of easier to get things. But we'll see, because if the audience are listening and up for it, it just depends if you're drowned out by the music. Yeah. So it's, a, it's quite a difficult environment to do comedy. Yeah. Have you seen who you're up against? Uh, yeah, we're, are we up against the Beach Boys? I okay. think. Who are they? I mean. I don't know. I don't think it's the main ones. I think some it's relative just, minnows. I think it's some people pretending. I was on against uh, what are they called the Four Seasons or the Four Tops. The Four Seasons are hotel chains. Yeah, it is. <laughs> now I forgot who who, who who were the guys who did up on the roof. Oh, I only remember the Robson and Jerome cover. Ah, uh, well, they, I was up against them, but they, they, that band was from the 1960s and they all looked about 23, so I don't think there are any of the... They, all they do, they're going to get a little franchise going yeah. there. So once people look at it and go, that's not Brian Wilson, that's yeah. some young American man, then I think people might come across this. I'm the, I am the real me. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not just a younger man pretending to be me. Accept no imitations. <laughs> and will you be sticking around for the headliners JLS? Um, my wife's just got back from uh, being away for a week, so I have to go back home to see her, unfortunately. Oh, much well, as I would love to see them. We could probably get your recording sent over if you... OK, yeah, that'd be nice. If you could Brilliant. do that for me, I'll watch All that right. later. Richard Herring, thanks for staying and talking to us. Cheers. Cheers.